Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Gofan Elungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Elungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. A big shout out to the person that suggested this, and a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel. Also, check out my blog morning coffee with funny and i uh, appreciate so yeah today we're going to be reacting to amid did that 30 reasons why the crucifixion didn't happen so without wasting time let's get into the video i give you a quick summary number one that this crucifixion is a fiction that it didn't happen. The way the Christians claim, those things didn't happen. Number one, he was reluctant to die. He didn't want to die. He didn't come prepared to come for any type of sacrifice. Luke chapter 22 verse 36, you'll find he's preparing for a fight. And he had he come to die, there was no need for him to tell his disciples to go and arm themselves. Number two, he beseeched God for help. Matthew chapter 26 verse 39. Number three, God heard his prayers. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 7. Number four, an angel of God came to strengthen him. Luke chapter 22 verse 43. Pilate finds Jesus not guilty. It's good reason to keep Jesus alive. John chapter 18 verse 38. Number six, Pilate's wife shown a dream in which she was told that no harm should come to this just man. In the other words, that he should be saved alive. Matthew chapter 27 verse 19. Number seven, supposed to be on the cross for only three hours. According to the system in vogue, no man could die by crucifixion in so short a time, which means that even if he was fastened to the cross, he was alive. Number eight, the other two, his crossmates on the, on the respective crosses were alive. So Jesus too, for the same period of time, must be alive. John chapter 19 verse 32. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was dead already, saw what? That he was dead already. I says, you know, on page, page 36 and 30, 37 and 38, I give you a list of 11 different persons in the newspapers who were certified dead and they were not dead. By doctors with stethoscopes, they were pronounced dead and they were not dead, they came back to life. And there is a society in England, I have given you the picture of the society of people who have come back from the dead. Were they all resurrected? No. But they were certified dead. This man, seeing a person on the cross, he thought he was dead and he saw that he's dead already. I said, what does it mean? And saw. When doctors make mistakes in the Kruth Skier Hospital, where Chris Barnard operates, a white woman was put certified dead and put into the mortuary, next morning she came out alive. When you make mistakes by the day, certifying people dead when they're not dead. What this means that he was dead already. So I said, Jesus was John 1933, that there was a mistake there in seeing. Number nine, Encyclopedia Biblica under article cross, column 960 says that when the spear was thrust, Jesus was alive. We didn't write the Encyclopedia Biblica. Number 10, and when they launched him on the side with the spear, it's a fourth with they came out blood and water, which is a sign of life. Number 11, his legs not broken as a fulfillment of prophecy. I said, legs can be of any use only if Jesus was alive. And this is the fulfillment of prophecy, says the Christian. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Psalms chapter 24, verse 20. Number 12. There was a thunderstorm, earthquake, and darkening of the sun, all within three hours. To disperse, to disperse the sadistic mob, to enable his secret disciples to help keep him alive. Number 13. The Jews doubted his death. They suspected that he had escaped death on the cross, that he was alive. And now the next day, the next day, they go to Pilate, the chief priests and Pharisees come together into Pilate saying, Sir, we remember so and so, and we don't want to make another mistake like we had made in the first, that the last error shall be worse than the first error. What was the first error they made? You know what? They allowed the body to come down without breaking his legs. Now they want to make doubly sure, but they missed the bus. The Jews missed the bus. You know, yesterday, last night, there was in the Argus that they didn't miss the bus. 
in Palestine. You know, within in 24 seconds, 25 seconds, they kill three uh, Arabs, and you know, who were out to do some terrorist business, they kill three. They didn't miss the bus there. But here in the Bible, Matthew chapter 27, verses 62 to 64, they miss the bus because the next day they go along to make the sepulchre secure. Next day, after the horse has bolted, you go and lock the gate. There's something wrong with you. The Bible says, next day, Pilate number 14, Pilate marvels to hear that Jesus was dead. He said, Pilate marveled if he were already dead. And calling to him the centurion, he asked him whether he had been any while dead. Mark chapter 15, verse 44. You only marvel if you know the thing that they're talking didn't happen. If you take a man to a firing squad and you put six bullets through him and if he dies, there's nothing to marvel. But if he didn't die, you marvel. Now Pilate marvels that, look, no man can die within three hours. In other words, according to his experience, the man is alive. Number 15, big and roomy chamber, big roomy chamber, close at hand and big and airy for willing hands to come to the rescue. Providence was out to keep Jesus alive. Number 16, stone and winding sheets had to be removed. Only necessary if Jesus was alive. John chapter 20 verse 1. Number 17. Report on the winding sheets. German scientists who carried out experiments on the shroud of Turin said that the heart of Jesus had not stopped functioning, that he was alive. Number 18. He was ever in disguise. Disguise not necessary if Jesus was resurrected. Only necessary if he was alive. John chapter 21 verse 4. Number 19, he forbade Mary Magdalene to touch him. Touch me not, for this reason that it would hurt, because he was alive. John chapter 20 verse 17. Number 20, not yet ascended unto my father. In the language of the Jew, in the idiom of the Jew, he was saying, I am not dead yet. In other words, I am alive. John chapter 20 verse 17. Number 21, Mary Magdalene not afraid on recognizing Jesus because she had seen signs of life before. She was looking for a Jesus who was alive. John chapter 20 verse 16. Number 22, his disciples petrified on seeing Jesus in the upper room. All their knowledge about the crucifixion was from hearsay. Therefore, they could not believe that Jesus was alive. To had Almal, Humfarlat and Khaflach. They were not there. Number 23, at food again and again in his post-crucifixion appearances. Food only necessary if he was alive. Luke chapter 24 verse 43. Number 24, never showed himself to his enemies because he had escaped death by the skin of his teeth. He was alive. Number 25, took only short trips because he was not resurrected, not spiritualized, but alive. He went to Emmaus. He went to the upper room, back again after eight days. He only took short trips because he was not resurrected. Otherwise, he would have gone up to heaven. No sense in going and coming back up and down, up and down, not from heaven to down and up above. He's going around in and around Jerusalem all the time. Number 26, testimony of men around the tomb. They say, why seek ye the living among the dead? Why are you looking for a live person among dead people in the cemetery? Luke chapter 24, verse 4 and 5. That he is not dead, but alive. Why seek ye the living among the dead? Number 27, testimony of the angels. The angels say, the angels who had said that he was alive, that he leave, that he leave, that he is alive. I don't know what's wrong with people? What are you reading? The angels, what did they say? That he's resurrected. No, he said that he leave, he is alive. They said, no, he is not alive, he's dead. He did not say resurrected, but the actual word uttered by the angels was alive. Luke chapter 24, verse 23. 28. Mary Magdalene testifies. They heard that he was alive and had been seen by her. They believed not. Mark 16, 11. Mary did not watch for a spook or a ghost or spirit of Jesus, but a live Jesus. What they could not believe was that the master was alive. Mark 16, 11. Number 29. Dr. Primrose, a senior anesthetist of the Royal Glasgow Infirmary, he says that the water in the blood was an account of scourging by staves and upset of the nervous vessels, that which was a sure sign that Jesus was alive. And now, the last and final one for tonight, Jesus had himself foretold that he was going to remain alive. Ma, Matthew chapter 12, verse 38, 39, 40.
he himself had told that he was not to die. That is his prophecy. Very interesting video. I mean, many times people are mispronounced as dead and they do come back. I don't know what happens when they come back, but I've heard such stories before. And I like um, the argument, I mean, the that is putting up. I don't mean argument in the sense that he's arguing with anyone. I just like the proof he's come forth with. If <laughs> I like the fact that he asks people what they're reading. So if there's any Christians there that are watching this, pretending not to like the video, I would just love to know what you think of the evidence that has been provided. Otherwise, this was very, very interesting. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next reaction video.